So guys, outside of all the crazy impressive things we already have coming out this year, there is a ton more to get excited about in the following months. Not only is Tesla looking to the future of autonomy, they are looking to expand the usefulness and the integration of Tesla vehicles with all of their other products. In the past few months, we have seen multiple new items being offered to different models, the Cybertruck, the Cyber Tent, the Cyber Cooler, and a bunch more really useful cyber stuff. Then we have the Model Y perfectly fitted with a brand new air mattress, a canopy built for camping, and even an air compressor with a tire repair kit. Now with that being said, it seems as if almost every accessory available on the Tesla store today has been built for a very specific model in mind, and the only ones that can be interchangeable between the models are the ones related to charging. Take for example the J1772 adapter which should technically be available for every new car purchase, that can be also purchased separately on the Tesla store and there is no specific requirements on which car it works with. So now speaking of charging and intercompatibility, we have recently gotten further information on Project Garfield which is their latest charging system that they are planning to integrate into the entire ecosystem. According to a user on Twitter that goes by SETI Park, Tesla has recently filed for four patents related to a wireless charging system for upcoming vehicles. This charging system will come in a form of a mat and something the car will drive over and automatically charge. The four patents that Tesla has recently filed for includes a temperature sensor and application for wireless charging, shorting switch to reduce ground leakage in inductive charging, wireless charging circuit topology and related methods of manufacturing, and finally, parameter estimates for wireless charging. So to break down and summarize all the highlights from these patents, we're going to put it into simple terms and try to get a gist of what Tesla has done throughout this entire period. The patents here indicate that they will go through all the procedures of manufacturing to ensure everything stays within tolerance. This means that there will be multiple switches and sensors to keep an eye on the current output and input into to the car, avoiding as much ground leakage as possible. The main inefficiencies of a wireless charger or a Qi charger are the wasted heat and energy that it produces and goes into the air, rather than going directly into your devices. This is the reason why your phone would typically get hot and charge much slower than it would if it was plugged in directly. So with this new design, Tesla aims to resolve all the issues by providing various methods of cooling and direct contact to the coils underneath the car. Not only is this going to be available for personal home use, but Tesla will likely be bringing this technology to supercharging stations as well. Now as the title of this video would put it, it would also bring faster charging as well, but not necessarily in the sense that you might think. Although there will still be inefficiencies and charge slower than if you had plugged it directly in with a cable, it will be much quicker in the initial charge procedures. This means that by simply driving into the stall, your car will automatically and immediately begin to charge rather than going outside, pulling out the connector, plugging it in and waiting for a few minutes before it initializes. Not only does this improve the user experience not having to face the outside environment when it's too cold or too hot, but this also solves the safety issue of quickly driving away when there's a real emergency. In addition to this, the main benefit for Tesla going full inductive charging is that it'll reduce the amount of things that can go wrong, especially with the charging cables often being damaged or cut. And while all this sounds really great, Tesla has gone above and beyond also filing patents in the recent days for road roughness design, mapping out and preemptively adjusting the vehicle suspension. All this might eventually tie into the inductive charging, allowing governments to install inductive chargers below the surface of the roads. So although this may sound very futuristic and far-fetched at the moment, this is Tesla's latest project to tie autonomy and the robo-taxi service together. This is where your taxi is going to be able to drive into a supercharging stall and start charging automatically. We will likely be hearing a ton more about this on the event day. This is going to be where Tesla is going to highlight everything possible with the robo taxi service and all the requirements. Now you guys might be extremely excited to hear but there is already one car in production today from the Tesla lineup that has everything pre-integrated inside and ready for this charging system to be activated. This car here 
is the Cybertruck and it has been pre-wired with all the mechanism and the coil underneath to start accepting a charge. All of this is going to be pre-integrated and is going to be an add-on to the Tesla home charging system which we have seen in previous renders. Now as for which and when other models are going to get it, we will likely be seeing it on the RoboTaxi first and then eventually make its way on to the Model Y Juniper. If the Model Y Juniper is going to happen this year, it means that they have already pre-integrated this system and design in a few years back you are going to be getting something that is available and ready for the future. So yeah, like I said, with all the reasons available to hold off for the Model Y, this is just another reason that you definitely should hold out. This wireless charging system may become a standard in the near future, making sure that your car never has to touch another charging cord again. This is where your car is going to be able to pull into superchargers and just automatically charge. We will definitely be hearing a ton more about this in the following days project Garfield is going to be the project of the year this is going to be something that every other manufacturer is going to try to copy so yeah look out for it I will keep an eye out on everything that comes up so make sure you stick around hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so and follow me on Twitter at hey John e. over there you guys will hear everything first you can chat with me DM me and I will respond as quickly as possible but this should be it for this one I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.